The age of the connected smart machine is upon us. Those words may seem cliche by now, but it's true. We are entering an amazing time in history, when not just people, but things are becoming intelligently connected. Moore's law continues to drive massive computing power and intelligence to each of our billions of devices around the world. The guts, or brains of the device, are getting smaller, cheaper, smarter, and more powerful each year. 5G connected devices will drive a dizzying array of groundbreaking digital services over the next decade. At the end of 2019, there were around 5 million 5G subscriptions, but that number is expected to increase to 1.9 billion by 2024, according to Ovum. At the same time, the 1 billion current IoT connections are expected to increase to over 4 billion. But getting all these billions of devices to communicate with each other requires a lot of work. It will take continual improvements in network infrastructure, standards, and technology. So how will we do it? Through innovation and wireless standards. Two of these standards form the majority of all conversations between today's modern communications devices. Fourth generation long-term evolution, or LTE as it's called, and fifth generation mobile communications, or 5G technology. So what exactly is 4G LTE and 5G? They're mobile wireless technology standards. You can think of them a little bit like languages. If you're an English professor, imagine 5G as listening to your teenage children speak modern English, and LTE similar to listening to your parents talk in the most widely used language today. In any language, there are developments that help to explain concepts and things much better. So just like languages evolve over time, so do mobile wireless technologies. So who laid the blueprint for 4G LTE and 5G standards? The visionaries, scientists, researchers, and engineers that came together at the third generation partnership project. They established a stable platform and framework that has continued to revolutionize the wireless industry. Founded in December of 1998, 3GPP united seven different telecommunications standards organizations in different parts of the world with a goal of creating a global common standard for mobile wireless communications. Each evolution of standards comes out as a packaged release from 3GPP. For instance, LTE was created in 2008 with Release 8. Over the years, LTE was enhanced with new capabilities like additional spectrum flexibility, multi-antenna improvements, spectrum aggregation, increased efficiencies, increased support for densification with small cells, as well as other support for new use cases. So what's so special about 5G? It greatly expands the range of spectrum that can be used from below one gigahertz to up to 52.6 gigahertz initially. It also significantly reduces latency or network lag time compared to LTE. It also employs much more efficient transmission for greater energy savings and it introduces the possibility of simultaneous connectivity between LTE and 5G new radio, as well as new spectrum bands. The new body of work for the 5G standard began with release 15. It started in 2015 and completed in June of 2018. It includes not just 5G improvements, but also LTE improvements too. Release 16 will be completed in March of 2020, and release 17 will be completed in July of 2021. So what's all in here? Release 16 includes additional new enhancements for areas such as LTE, machine type communications, narrowband IoT, new MIMO efficiencies, mobility improvements, enhanced performance in high speed scenarios, and 5G terrestrial broadcast. 5G has some amazing improvements for industry verticals in 3GPP release 16, including improving the capacity and operation of existing features into new industry verticals such as the transport industry, industrial IoT, manufacturing, enterprise, and automotive CV2X scenarios. It also features enhanced capacity improvements of operation efficiency including MIMO enhancements, IAB or integrated access and backhaul, cross-link interference remote interference management, user equipment power savings, mobility enhancements, uh, multi-rat dual connectivity, carrier aggregation enhancements, URLLC or ultra-reliable low latency communications, unlicensed spectrum capabilities, positioning enhancements, and two-step random access channel. Release 17 includes even more capabilities including 
utilizing spectrum beyond 52.6 gigahertz spectrum, more dynamic spectrum sharing improvements, integrated access and backhaul enhancements, reduced capability in our devices or in our light, small data enhancements, more V2X enhancements and general side link communication enhancements, and our broadcast and multicast and multi-SIM. But that's not all. That's just the stuff between the cell site and your device. 3GPP has created a framework for the entire network architecture that goes from the cell site all the way back to the data center. Release 16 includes enhancements like service-based architecture, improving flexible deployments of session management control function and user plane function, support for commercial services using location-based service architecture, enhancements to UE capability signaling, RAN self-organizing networks, and dual connectivity and carrier aggregation improvements. Release 17 includes some system enhancements and support for new services like asset tracking, audio-visual service production, communication service requirements for critical medical applications, service requirements on enhancements for cyber physical control applications in vertical domains with multimedia priority services, support for multi-SIM devices, and enhanced relays for energy efficiency and extensive coverage. I continue to be impressed by the technical wizardry coming out of the world's brightest minds in the wireless community that all come together at 3GPP. As 5G continues its ascent, I look forward to the very near future when all the world's devices communicate using a common language and be able to deliver the vast quantities of human knowledge to every man, woman, child, and thing in the world. We are truly at the dawn of a great age. How exciting to be part of that age of intelligent machines being smartly connected.